This is the third in our series uh, showing how to use the architectural tools in TurboCAD Professional Platinum 19.1 here. Um, we're going on the scenario that we have uh, some sort of shed, some sort of perhaps a brick shed here and um, in a garden which we are going to modify, extend, turn into some sort of workshop come studio. So in this one we're going to uh, add some walls, knock down some existing walls and add some windows. So the easiest thing first of all would be to look at it in plan form, see where everything is. I'm going to uh, I'm going to select the whole drawing. I'm going to pick up the origin the reference point here by hitting D on the keyboard. I'm going to snap it to the corner here with V. That doesn't matter. And here I'm going to snap it to the grid so that I can use the grid to make sure my uh, walls are lined up square. So the first thing is I'm going to take an extension out here somewhere. So I'm going to choose the wall tool. I'm going to check that it's still holding my uh, parameters for the walls, which I'm sure it will be, which it is. Thickness 100, height 2300. OK, that's what I want. I'm going to snap into the wall here about half a metre in. I'm going to use a G snap so I can snap to the grid. Now I'm going to come out here 3,000 millimetres, so 3 metres. I'm going to leave the mouse alone, bottom left and angle. I'm going to tab in and type in 3,000. Tab, my angle would be 180. Hit return. I'm going to tab to go up now 4,000. Tab straight up will be 90 degrees. Hit return. Now at any point, if I make a mistake, I can right click and I can go one step back. At any point, I can take over by using the grid and hit and say G here to snap to the grid. Take it in there and do a G for a snap grid there. When I've finished, I can come down and hit the finish flag here or I can right click and go finish. So that's done and you can see this healed themselves. So I want to knock this part of the wall down here. So I want to split it. So I'm going to split wall tool. I'm going to click onto the wall here. Ah, now if it says that, the solution is really quite simple. We right click, we select the whole thing. We go to format, place on work plane. That should put everything on the same work plane, so that should get rid of those problems. Again, split, click onto the wall I want to split. I want to click on from here, so I'm going to have a V snap there. That's one part of the wall, and the second part of the wall I want to split. Oops, I clicked on that bit there, that was a mistake, so I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to start again here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to right click and undo wall split. Right click, undo place and work plane. No, I'm okay, so I'm at the right place. Okay, so it's not unusual for people to get the wall split wrong. The same with the circle split. You click onto it and then you click in the wrong place afterwards. So you can always just go back and start again. So split, click on the, that wall from there. And I want to end up splitting the wall here. Okay, now it looks exactly the same but it has changed. So now I can select that part of the wall and delete it. That part of the wall and delete it. By looking isometric now that's gone and these bits of the walls I can simply select here and there and delete them. So there's my building work done. Now I'm going to put some windows up here but I want high long windows because as a studio or a workshop I don't want to take up space on the walls with big windows but I want the light. But maybe you can't remember exactly how long these walls are so you want an idea about the length of these. Well you could use the measuring tool. On the other hand you could do this. You could open up the tools palette, find the dimension tools, use smart dimension. Now I know remember the doors when we put the doors in they're too small so the dimension sizes are going to be a bit on the small side so I'm going to right click go to properties, format Look, the height is going to be five millimeters, so I don't want. I'm not going to be able to see that. So I'm going to make it 500. This is really just so I can see what they are. This is not to put the dimensions on a drawing sheet. Look at it in uh, 
plan view and I can just click onto these walls and take that away and I can see how big things are actually that one I probably don't want Right, so that'll help me make the sizes of the windows. Okay, so I've got four walls here that are 400. So let's put those windows in first. So, window, left click, into the drawing area, right click, properties. Window main, width. Right, they're four meters, so let's make the windows three meters and the height of the window may be 200 millimeters. That's the outside of the frame. The sill height, well it's 2300 high, so if I made them say 1900, we'll see what that looks like, we can always change them. And say OK, and there it is. Again, a bit difficult to place in isometric, so if we go into uh, plan, then I can quite clearly see where they're going to go and I'm going to just do this by eye rather than typing in measurements and then I have the same size one here I can right click and go to properties and I can make the width a little bit narrower for the other one for this 3500 if I want to make it 1800 that one's going to go there well I don't know we could have a bit bigger than that couldn't we so I can right back go back there actually I can take that to take that back to 3000 same as the others really okay oops I missed a note obviously I've done 300 go back okay so you can see this is really you, know, you, you make mistakes quite all the time when you're drawing these things that's a bit bigger going now so I'm going back I'm going backwards and forwards let's take it off what did I have I had 3000 so I'll have 2800 and that'll have to do whatever it is That'll do. And then uh, one for here, and this is sort of the stock room, isn't it? So we'll have properties, uh, maybe 1,600. That'll do, and that can go in there. Okay, so there's all our, our windows. We can now look at the thing in isometric, see what it looks like. They all look okay look about the right height now if we wanted to change the height we could feature all of them and then right click and change the seal height so we can you know get the style right first you can get the positioning right afterwards if you wish one thing you might want to do though is these is some sort of awnings is like divided into half we wouldn't really have that with these sorts of windows we might have them that open out but um, anyway what we can do is we can go up to view style manager palette and click onto our window style and what we've got there is a standard one because we've got the, the only one that's there we'll make another one in a second there's our standard and there's our design and it's rectangular awning transform if we done picture window we'd get rid of that bit in the middle and they would all change when we go up here we've got to uh, which is standard see it says apply new styles and so they've all changed you see we didn't put one in there so if I wanted to put one in there I can just uh, that would be easy enough I go back click this is the one I forgot um, window right click properties 300 if I make this two, 260 okay that one to go in there and the style for that one is already done Actually, that's a bit too big 260 so I'll make it 240 okay that goes in there and it's the same style as the others I don't need these sizes anymore because they've helped me locate the windows get the right sizes I can take all these out now I could always put them on a different layer if I wanted to keep them but really I'd make them look rather different to that so they're all in place now perhaps I'd like another window here say a round window here so now I've got to create a new style so I go to windows view style manager palette 
window styles standard up the top here create new style create new style I call it round and say OK dimensions I'll, I'll make it auto adjust to fit the window it's a window shaped rectangular and I'll have a round one OK apply change to the current style yes because that's the one I've clicked now I'm going to go to uh, window right click properties general and now round window main and I type in the size so that was only about so I'll say 500 by 500 it's the size of the window seal height how high up from the, the, the base if I said a thousand and say OK and there's my round window and again if it's a little difficult locating in isometric look at it in plan form put it in in plan form right click cancel up the top isometric and there it is so now we've extended it we've put some windows in if it's a little difficult to see exactly how it's looking we can go to hidden line it might take us a few seconds just going to work out with the doors and windows we haven't yet put on materials on the doors and windows but we'll do that later and we'll turn off the grid in a second when this has worked its way through there you go and there's our building so far alt G turns off the grid so windows doors okay that's the end of this one next one we're going to change the shape of the doors and uh, maybe put some other small windows in some extra little bits and pieces